Hello, and welcome to the SAP HANA development for SAP Business One eLearning. My name is Ralph, and today we're going to talk about the SAP HANA Extended Application Services and how to develop your first SAP HANA application. We will have an introduction about the Access Engine and the tooling that is available for us to develop an application on HANA. Then we're going to create our first Access HANA project based on server-side JavaScript and OData web service. Now let's have an overview about the XS engine. Most people take SAP HANA as a super fast in memory database. This is not a lie, but if this is the only true you know, you were only introduced to half of the SAP HANA capabilities. SAP HANA is much more than any memory database. It's a complete platform for timeless software. Solutions should be timeless, future-proof, data-centric, and with amazing user experiences. The user is the center of everything. In line with IT technology trends like big data, analytics, cloud mobility, and machine learning, SAP HANA is a platform not just for SAP applications, but for any solutions that you want to build on top of it. Combining these well-known in-memory calculation capabilities and the embedded extended application services, SAP HANA sets a new paradigm of application development, moving the business and calculation logics into the database layer from the application layer transforming and simplifying the traditional solution architecture. So let's have a look at all the technologies that are involved in an SAP HANA application. We are starting at the bottom, in the calculation layer. There is where all your business logic and heavy workloads are going to be processed. You can use a SQL script and HANA store procedures and HANA views to make those processes. For example, imagine a fixed access depreciation scenario, for example. You need to retrieve a large amount of data. You need to calculate uh, the depreciation of each month, for example, for each asset, uh, and also write data back into the system. So all this process we run inside the calculation layer where your data is close to your business logic and you have the best performance possible. On top of it, we have a very lightweight layer called the control flow layer. This control flow layer exposes the database as a set of web services. This web service is going to be based on OData protocol or XSJS uh, server-side JavaScript. And the client side will be also a lightweight layer, but based entirely on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. We are talking about web-based interfaces, elegant, intuitive, easy to access from any device, and of course, platform independent. To summarize this shift, what we are seeing is that we are moving from a traditional data to code approach where all our business logic resides in the application layer. And being in the business one world, we are very dependent of the Fed client and uh, applications that resides in the client machine processing all the heavy workloads. So we are moving from this traditional data to code approach to a new model called code to data, where the application layer is very lightweight. It presents only the data that is relevant to the end user, while the business logic is being handled by the server side. Going deeper in the SAP HANA development stack, let's take a look into the calculation layer. So as mentioned before, this should keep all your business logic. It can use store procedures, views, and we use SQL script as the programming language. This is an API for all applications to access the SAP HANA database is an extension of the standard NC SQL. It has declarative logic and orchestration logic, which means you can develop all your business logic on top of it. Follow it by the control flow layer, where this is a very lightweight layer uh, that handles only procedural type logic. You can use it to make validations, uh, output formatting, enablement of one or another service. And you write those uh, logics using server-side JavaScript or using also a standard OData protocol. The last one is the presentation layer that runs entirely on the client machine. This is an entirely platform independent layer, very lightweight. Uh, it only hosts the UI side, based entirely on HTML5, and this is where the famous SAP UI5 and Fury style reside. But of course, you can use any UI approach as long as it is based on HTML5. 